Welcome to your todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman. Let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. Vancouver's Chesapeake Gold has announced its annual general meeting results from the May 25th AGM. Chesapeake's shareholders have voted in favor of all business items, including electing director nominees and amending the company's stock option plan. Now Chesapeake says that it plans to continue focusing on the discovery to development of major gold and silver deposits in North and South America. C3 Metals has officially kicked off its Bellis Gate drilling program in Jamaica. The Toronto-based mining company is drilling for copper and gold porphyries while testing different mineral targets within the Crawl River fault zone. So far, C3 has released that 12 porphyry systems and multiple epithermal occurrences have been identified in the project. Exogen Inc. has announced that it will be participating in the William Blair 42nd Annual Growth Stock Conference. The autoimmune testing solutions company will be represented by President and CEO Ron Roca and Chief Financial Officer Kamal Adawi and will be presenting at the Chicago-based event on Thursday, June 9th. With a link to the webcast on Exogen's website below, investors.exogen.com slash events. Toronto's Tardison Nickel has officially launched environmental baseline studies for its Cambridge Nickel project. The mineral exploration and development company says that it is reviewing all steps in the approval process as it continues to carry out time-sensitive baseline studies in the Kenora Mining District while updating shareholders on the proposed summer work program in the coming weeks. Chatham Rock has released a Rare Earths Progress Report for its Corella Mine and South Exploration Area. Through its Pacific Rare Earths Limited subsidiary, Chatham Rock says that the yttrium, neodymium, and dysprosium rare earth oxides are abundantly present at Corella and Corella South, which are considered critical minerals. Now Chatham Rock says that it plans to further expand its sampling and testing program to quantify the discovered resources. And finally, Manning Ventures has officially wrapped exploration at its northern Quebec Bounty Lithium property. Manning has confirmed multiple pegmatite occurrences at its James Bay Lithium District project and will be awaiting more results for lithium and gold content from the SGS Canada's lab in Lakefield, Ontario. Manning has also announced a non-brokered private placement of the company offering to a price of five and a half cents per unit to raise proceeds of up to a million dollars. That wraps up this week's todaystocks.com news update. This is not financial advice, but tune in with us on our website todaystocks.com to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. Thanks for watching and see you next week.